Oh, hello everybody, it's WebFraft, and we're back again with a new video. This is Holocure Review, succumbing to my cringe anime tendencies. We played Holocure, it was dope. Let's see somebody review it. Why not? Yeah, oh, I'll suggest hi, it, uh, so I'm clicking on it. Hey, it's got Yuna thing. Uh, you weren't supposed to see this. Oh, yeah, boy. Bro, how would you even do this? It's like, what, like three languages? Six streams? Bro. Uh, no, no, no. How many? Yo! Fauna, Konkin, Fertility God Statue, Goblins with Dump Trucks? Hey, yo, send the folder over, yeah. brother. Come on, homie. Yeah, go! Anime, Japanese cartoon. Yes. Bread dog Anime waifus. It's I cuteness, brother. You don't have to understand. Be careful, this is weeb country. But mm. don't worry, stick with me. I'll protect you. Thank Holo you. Is a I don't need protecting, goddammit. Fan game featuring Hololive VTuber talents. My favorite hammerhead shark. Kura! It is a VTuber. <laughs> well, dad, it's a girl who pays attention to me and listens to my problems when I give her money. No, it's not a prostitute. Holocure. Yeah, they don't touch you. Unlike prostitutes, so yeah. Guess you get don't you don't get SDs. Also, don't get S. But survivors, if you've heard of that, but with some eh. big key differences. First, strafing. Second, stronger design. Wait, what was strafing? With some big key differences. First, hold down Z key to keep finding one direction while walking in the other. Oh, Z strafing. Second, stronger design the? focus on the characters. Everybody's got a starter weapon, special yes, attack, and three so skills good. that only they can use. Makes so every character good. feel significantly different. By the way, this looks like an old version, because when I go to select women, there's a lot more of them, and I've never said that sentence in my life, okay? Third. <laughs> damn. The gameplay God loop is damn, easy brother. and addictive. Pick the girl you want to play as yeah. and use them to commit mass carnage on every cute character that Pretty approaches much. you. Level up from their demise, pick up an assortment of weapons yeah, and upgrades from but... leveling up, then combine Wait, weapons saw that into shit? even more powerful collabs. Use everything you can to beat the stage mode's final boss. Or survive as long as yeah, possible go! in endless mode for bragging Best rights your brain rot of choice. <laughs> Somehow, this game doesn't cost any. Hey, some of those have a lot more brain rot than... uh. Others, okay. It's Just a saying. fan project held together it's by a small, champ. talented dev team, and it's evident Which is crazy. that they put a lot of love and care into it. Hollow Cure is great. I'll be honest with you, I enjoyed this way more than I did the uh, Vampire Survivor. It might be something to do with the cute waifus, but I don't think it's completely that. Okay. Great. You should play it. There's and more I choice. Tell you why. The plot of this game is easy enough to understand. VTubers became a phenomenon. They gathered True. a lot of fans on the internet. The fans yeah. were influenced and brainwashed by what's described as an evil force called oh, Twitter.com, which convinces it's them X, to stop taking their medication. As punishment for their crimes, <laughs> now the Hololive girls get to openly gun them down hey, in the streets. Hey, so I mean, uh, save them. I mean, I'd take Risu's nuts. Same. Save the fans. See these enemies? These are little representations of each Hololive member's fan. Yes! Hololive encourages its members to use lots of theming. So mm. Gargura, the shark-themed one. Hammerhead shark! Let's go! She has her fans represented as little shrimp guys. Yeah. Mori Calliope portrays herself as a grim reaper, so her fans are skeletons. Mm. Amelia Watson is a time traveler. <laughs> There's always one bone up for that detective, one. So her fans are shown as a fusion of her dog and the McDonald's character Grimace with a fat, juicy ass. <laughs> yeah. At least it was that way before the recent update now they've been rebranded as the why slightly more tolerable to look at alligator trench coat mafia. what is that supposed to mean i looked my big gut a uh, little tell it to be looking at small fuck addition to the reverse God damn it. bullet hell genre a reverse bullet hell from the popularity of vampire survivors yeah and just like how you don't have to understand castlevania lore to enjoy vampire survivors Ow. you don't have to understand vtuber lore to enjoy the references and memes are there for those who get them listen bro there's cute waifus there's big teddy waifus the big gat waifus what more can you need huh if you're not enjoying this, there's something wrong with your ass. The good gameplay stands on its own merits. A regular bullet hell, traditionally, is a game where you shoot oh and dodge at incoming enemies within a limited box area. These enemies will fill the entire screen like with their projectiles. It may look like they're trying to kill your player character, but they're actually attempting to strike you down in real life. Either by <laughs> epileptic seizure or by setting your graphics card aflame, hopefully leading to a house fire. In reverse, Or by killing you a thousand times and you putting your fist through a monitor, slipping, falling, can die. Dying. First bullet hell, you have all the bullets. The enemies don't have epilepsy or houses to burn down though, but they don't have any ranged abilities either. Instead, they'll try to cut oh you off and physically God. swarm you. Yes. You're not restricted to a certain area in your movement either. Walk wherever you want. There are many characters Just don't get to hit. choose from in this game. You 
now there is way more and there's about to be more soon start out with a cast of five then unlock the rest through playing a gotcha. hey you start with the hypest five though come gotcha. on brother a gotcha is one of those ripoff machines that you'll find in an applebee's entrance it's meant to hey, music? children into spending ten dollars and quarters to get a sick stick on tattoo of a wolf damn well that's the american version anyway i've lived in <laughs> japan and usually their gotcha machines are in malls meant to entice children into spending ten dollars worth of yen to get a sick doge figurine. oh you buy care bro that's a dope figurine i want it in the game using only in-game currency you earn while playing and you unlock new weapons through special challenges i cannot yeah. imagine how tempting it was for the developer of this to not make the character gacha optionally cost real money a la hearthstone packs bro you hey, yo. just earn the money in the game bro just do your daily quest to play every day, get addicted, bro. You don't have to spend real money, bro. I've, I've only spent $300 on it this week. Bro, please, bro, I swear. But somehow they were Some people actually think like that, and unfortunately. respect for it. In the latest update, the devs were fatigued from hearing fans cry about how they can't get their favorite character. So they added in your very own tears as a currency upon receiving a duplicate. Get enough Is that tears and you can buy whatever girl you want. But please keep in mind that crying to acquire women does not typically work outside of Hollow Gear. Instead, Try gaslighting and verbal yes. abuse. Works for me every time. Gaslighting works really well. I enjoy seeing how the devs represent each Hololive member's personality or well-known moments into their toolkit and how he's not using a mouse. Character. Some aspects are based on their personality, other things are based around famous Lord. moments they've had or themes of their VTuber persona. Yes. A few examples of my it's personal awesome. favorites. Amelia Watson is a good example Fertility? of a Holocure loadout that has less to do with a theme and more to do with the person's personality. She's well known for playing FPS games uh -huh. and being a raging goblin. Why? Okay. She channels her game. First off, that was not an FPS game, goddammit. Her goblin rage into more damage and critical hits in Hollow Care. <laughs> she also has a dog, Bubba, yeah. who helps attack things for her. And then her special attack hits the lag switch she uses when she's behind in Apex Legends. Mm. Sarah's fauna is a nature spirit. And for me, she one of the best wife. She has the most interesting synergized toolkit in the game. Her weapon it does? isn't incredibly consistent to use, but her real damage comes from her guardian tree skill. Whenever you receive healing, this skill spikes one of your fans straight through their prostate whisperer provides a form of constant heat tell me more healing and thus a way to consistently activate the <laughs> prostate spider hey, sampling yo? makes enemies have a chance to drop a little healing plant more spikes while also making you faster more healing and stronger more spikes pickup. Her special attack is a panic button that makes you invincible for 10 seconds and heals you repeatedly really strong. as well. Extreme Akko's strong. Bales is a chaotic Bay! rat. And I don't know what it is, but she's up to something I can feel. Always. Not because she's obviously oh. a skaven, but because she's Australian. Best True. girl, I mean, Ninomai Inanis, is one of my favorites for sure. Her skills Ina! are based around her theme more than anything else. She's a very gentle and easygoing type, but her theme is all culty, Cthulhu, Lovecraft stuff. Yeah, so we don't know why. Do we? skills like slowing enemies down around you gaining more damage the enemies are nearby and converting enemies to your cult by way of the ancient one turning them into little octopus ghosts in line with cute. the cthulhu like theme she uses tentacles as her weapon and as her special attack to push enemies <laughs> away before the big update she was also the only character who could survive yeah, go! an endless mode which makes sense God considering damn. she is best girl the yes. gameplay itself eh, is simple sometimes. yet satisfying maybe there are a lot of best girls, okay? With ridiculous weapons, take what they drop, Don't stand at war. Holocure starts off slow, then rapidly turns into a self-defense exercise on <laughs> not getting taken advantage of behind the local Yagu statue. <laughs> Defeat all the swarming fans uh. to receive experience used to level up. Leveling up gives you a choice of four randomly selected weapons, items, or skills, including ones you already have so that you can upgrade them. You have a limited yep. amount of weapon and item slots, so choose wisely. You're rewarded with a Holozon box upon killing a boss enemy. These deliveries contain your idol <laughs> as well as a new weapon, item, or upgrade. If you're lucky and pray to your false idol of choice, the box Aye. may contain three what you mean, full side ass? What up, brother? Three That's best idol. God damn, there's too many best idols. A super item. Weapons can be upgraded seven times by way of leveling up, or the loot box drops. Max Music out is so good. Compatible neutral weapons, and you'll be given the chance to combine them into a collab. Light beam. Getting the collab weapons. Wait, I've never gotten this one. Satisfying because of the huge spike in power they give you. Also, something about God damn it. scratches some sort of ADHD itch I have in my brain because these things dog. are flinging fucking colors and shit all over the place. 
It also frees up a weapon slot. <laughs> yeah, at some point you don't even see the screen. You don't have, you have no idea what's happening, but things are dying, and that's what's important. As long as you don't die. You a chance to grab a different new don't weapon. die. There's no limit to the amount of collabs you can have, other than the normal weapon slot limit, so you can min-max to your heart's desire. You get your starter, plus five other weapons, and six items. Your starter weapon can't be combined with anything, but it's often very powerful on its own, and when you get it to max level, it becomes AWAKENED! and even more powerful yes. than it was before. Aside from the starter weapons, here are some of the notable normal weapons that you can pick normal up during weapons. runs. Idle Song moves in a pattern vertically in both directions, up and down, to hit enemies. Glow Stick spins out and away from you to hit enemies, then spins back to you. These are based on the idle concerts that <laughs> the VTubers of HoloLive they are based. Live often perform, with the True. VTubers singing their idle songs, and the fans typically having glow sticks in the crowd to cheer them on. The Cutting Board creates it's a wall that repeatedly shoots out from yeah, behind. Yeah, spend the lore on that one, brother. <laughs> the cutting board weapon is stronger on certain characters like Gura and Ina. This is because... based on their striking resemblance to flat pieces of wood. The BL book rotates around you rapidly. It's max enemies in the face with detailed pages of femboy thighs if they get too close. This Best type of thighs, goddammit. This damn is it. based... Continuing, Plug Type Asakoko plows Aye. itself into a nearby enemy's anus, delivering deadly drugs directly into them. I, I didn't make that up for a haha -ha funny sex joke. No, that's, that's actual, actual lore. That does. Yes, Holocure had a big actual lore. On September 9th. So what's the verdict on it? It's oh damn, they made it way harder. <laughs> <clears throat> it's fine. Actually, it's great. There's a ton of new content. It was just, uh, playing the new stage made me realize that oh, I yeah. forgot the upgrade system in this game exists. Oh, yeah. And the I difficulty increase. Any sort of a, a vampire survivor copy has these upgrade systems. This was kicking my ass. So there's that. I feel More playable Hololive members, an extra yeah. stage, a hard version of oh, a you? stage, new enemies and bosses, new weapons and items, and positive tweaks to existing ones. Yes. All excellent. I approve. Now for some minor gripes. Huh? How come I gotta walk around the table but the rice ball head guy don't? Huh? Some characters are Mume that press X to delete everything on the screen. Others are Korone, who presses X to sporadically finger enemies. One of these is marginally more reliable, <laughs> and I'll let you guess which one. <laughs> yeah, but Karone is cool though. Uh, that being that cool, said, but... though, KU and the rest of the dev team accomplished an insane goal with Hollow Cure, making a fan. They're still doing it. Both the still doing it. Memes and the is actually a solid game criteria. I recommend. Bro, I'ma be honest. I prefer this to Vampire Survivor. It's actually better. It's you cuter. This game, whether or not you know anything about VTubers, streams, or any of that, try it out. It is solid. Yes. Hollow Cure is fantastic up, up. and it's free. The link to the game is in the description, so go download it if you're interested. And, and save if the you fans. Made it this far in the video, thank you very much for watching. Hey. And a special thank you to. It was a dope ass video, brother. I see why y'all suggested. And yes, you gotta play this game. It's so good. We'll get back to it at some point on stream. I I finished most of the stages, but. Some of them are hard, brother. Some of them are hard. Anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed this. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see y'all next time, okay? Bye, everybody. Have a good day.